Messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy that puts the fun in Funhouse, Pat Sharp! Alright! How are you, okay? Welcome to New Funhouse. It's great to be back on CITV. And we have a very strange creature just outside the studio at the moment, which is a dinosaur with one eye. Apparently it's called a Do You Think He Saw Us? And this is the Funhouse! Another rip warrior start. Hi, Melanie and Martina. And let's bring on the players, girls. Hi, Marty. Hi, Freddie. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thank what you. Got? you. Okay, I have Erica and Richard. They're from York, and they both attend the Fulford Comprehensive School. Yay! And hello, Sister Mel. Hi, Sister Pam. <laughs> Who have you got? I have Julie and Jonathan, <laughs> and they're from Ulster, and they attend the Carrick Burgers Grammar School. Yeah! Walked into that one, didn't I? Twins have got me back. Well, one of them has, anyway. OK, Erica, nice to see you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. You look like a bit of a star to me. This is Richard. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. We've got that over with, the formalities. If you're into computer games, what's your favourite video game? What do you like most? Boy. Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2? Good. Glad you like it. And we move on to the Reds. Jonathan is here. Nice to see you. What do you want to be when you grow up, then? A brain surgeon. OK. Can you do any good impressions? Yeah. Um, Margaret Thatcher. Oh, good. Give us the Margaret Thatcher, then, John. Off you go. Hello, Pat. Could you please get your hair cut? <laughs> <laughs> Very good impression. Very good. Right, Julie Ann Montgomery, nicknamed Jules, who's into horse riding. Are you good? Have you got yeah. your own horse? No. At least you're in a stable condition. Well, no. good luck to all our players today on the Funhouse. Yeah. OK, welcome along. As I say to Funhouse, if you just joined us, what kept you? We've been here for a couple of minutes. We're here for another 22 or so. Now, this show is all about Gunji games, as you know, if you've already seen us over the past few years. There is a game for the boys, a game for the girls, and doubles game. Then we bring you back after each game, ask you a question. Each one of those is worth 25 points, just like the games, but you just stay cleaner. Then it's the Grand Prix and then into the Fun House, perhaps to pick up on the power prize. It's in there with all those prize tags. Now, the first game is called Feeling Flushed, and it's just for the boys. Let's go do it! Yeah! Now, look, if you're going to fall over before we start, there's going to be terrible trouble. Is that your stomach? Now, the whole idea of this game, because I'm flush with success already, is that I show you this, which is my legendary ball cock. There you go, a little close-up, OK? I'm a plunger. Now, that's what plumbers use when they come around your house to unblock the loo. Now, these loos are basically beyond repair, so I will just have a sit here and show you what it's all about. Oh, I haven't pulled my trousers down. Never mind, you guys have done that. You'll be playing the game. You'll be pulling this chain. When the chain pulls, down comes this little ball and perhaps something else, because you never know, seeing as it's fun house. You follow that by waddling over here because your trousers are around your ankles, flying over here as quick as you can, ooh, and falling off this side, and then placing this in the old U-pipe. The one with the most in the U is the winner. Hey, it could be you. So whatever happens, I wish you luck. Looking a little flushed, aren't I? Go! <laughs> It was an interesting game. They were moving around there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, well, I did warn him. I said, whatever happens, don't slip around till the game. Can I help you up? There you go. Oh, no. Let me try again. Come on. You're up. Hey, hey steady now. Steady, steady on the ball. <laughs> you never met. Come on, girl. Are you up? Now, go on. Okay. You just stay there. Just stay there, okay? Now, we're going to count up the yellows. What, sorry, sorry, while you stay over there, you just count up the yellows for a minute. Right, go on. Carry on. Okay, well, we only managed to get one. Did you? <laughs> Listen, I've got a great job for you in a circus. And, and how we, many did we get? We got one, two, three, four. Well yeah! done. I think he's staying upright for a second. Rerun the fun, come on! Yes, we re-rushed the flush. I think Richard deserves about 200 points for what he did, but I'm afraid it wasn't quite enough because the Reds beat him. 25 Reds! Yeah! And the first scores are on the doors, and here comes the girls' question. Good luck, it's also worth 25 points. In Britain, we have a queen on the throne. In Spain, they have a king as their head of state. What do they have in America? Ah! Reds. President. President's right. Good for yeah! me. So another 25 points. Zero yellows. You slipped up a bit, Rich. And 50 to the Reds in the lead. Yeah! OK, Erica, so some catching up is needed here against Jules in our next game for the girls called Beetlejuice. Come on! Yeah! Here we are, all set to play. If you have a look at this very scary skeleton, can you tell which is which? No, probably not. I better not ask you that. Down here, at the bottom of the grave, are beetles. And they are inside these balloons. In other words, the juice is there. You can see that. I'll just hide that one back there. There's lots and lots in here amongst the snakes and the bones and stuff like that. It'll be your job to get hold of those and then go underneath the grave, all the way through here, through the gunge, out the other side, across here, and then you put it down here, not the skull, but your beetle, and you whack it. Hence, the juice goes over the gravestone. It's the one with the most smashed beetles that is the winner. <coughs> Key game as well. Don't tell Paul McCartney about this. He won't like the beetles being smashed. We wish you lots of luck. It means the runners-up will be getting points as well. You've got your Beetlejuice jackets on. You're looking good. Before we start, I must just tell you, this cost us 500 pounds, all right? So be careful. Mind you, it's a bit of a rip-off. Go! Go! Superstars, even though that deathly look came over their faces for a moment or two. How many reds did we get? I'll take your word for it. We got three. Yes. Yay. Yeah. How many yellows did we get? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> we got two. <laughs> Red points. Reuse the juice. Come on. <laughs> Key game. Nice one. Two points for the yellows. 25 for Jules and the reds. And here is a Beetlejuice question on New Funhouse for the boys. Good luck. You ready for this? Hit your buzzers as soon as you know. Give me the right answer. You got the 25 points. Lots of bones in view there. But in which part of your body would you find your cranium? <laughs> Red. In your head. That's right. 25 points. Yes. Yeah! Now two points to the yellow and 100 to the redheads. Yeah! Okay, 
our last game today is for everybody. It's just ahead of the Grand Prix. It's called Chocolate Drop. Let's go and check it out. Come on. Yeah. Now, eat your heart out, Willy Wonka, because our chocolate factory is far superior. If you have a look at these, I'll just open them up here. From a very posh shop. <sighs> mm. Look at this. Everybody's favorite chocolates are in there. Truffles. Now, I'll just eat one of those. I've got to have the rest of the afternoon off. No, I've got to tell you about this. Your job is to stand in the icing as you are. Then, to make your way up the slide by use of this rope, quick as you can, so you get to the top. And if you have a look here, mmm, these are your chocolates, right? Grab them one by one, take them back down, put them in the icing, in the casing, completed chocolate. But a member of the opposite team will try and stop you by pouring guns and stuff all over you. The gunge is, of course, stuff that helps chocolates get nice as well. We've got lemon curd and marmalade and bits of flour and gunge and dust. and It's all here. It can all be mixed and it can all be sent down, can't it? That's your job, OK? You have 60 seconds to get as many completed chocolates in the wrappers as you can. On your marks, get set, slide! <laughs> I don't know if we're going to count that one. I'll, oh! <laughs> when you quite finished mucking about there, now I need to know, did that last one count? Yes. Look at you asking someone else. That's your job! <laughs> How many? Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five! Five yeah. legs. <laughs> and how many yellows? We've got one, two, three! All yeah. right! Red points! They've done it at last! Rerun the fun! And now the fun's been rerun, let's give those Reds another 25 points! Yeah! Okay, girls, question now, also worth 25 points as Carrick Fergus, Lead York, Standby, Fun Cards coming up. Chocolate first brought to Europe from which continent, America or Australia? <coughs> yellows? America. Yeah, Yellows have got some points! Well done on the scoreboard! So, 27 plays 125 with the Reds in the lead. Congratulations, Reds going good. And the Fun Cart Grand Prix is next. Bring them on, girls. Oh, yes, the guys and girls have got themselves all zipped up and they're now ready to zip round the track. There's three laps in the Fun Cart Grand Prix if you've never seen it before. On the first lap, they have to pick up these tokens on the way round. They're on the hands. You have to grab them as you go round and then place them in your pouch. On the second lap, you grab these ones. They're worth 25. On the third lap, you can still grab some tokens if you want, but I suggest you just go for it and try and hit the checkered flag, all right? Who's going first? Me! Oh, good. Sorry, I can hardly hear you. Let's go. There we are. Now you've got your lids open. I can hear what's going on. Right. This is it. You guys are all going to be on the telly now. Wow. Yellow's 27. Red's 125. Who's going into the fun house? On your marks. Get set. Go!
Oh, my goodness. Come on, yo. It's just flagging behind a little bit, I think. Well done, Reds. 25 points. Yes! <laughs> Let's up, add up Jono and Jules, first of all, and see what they got on the first selection. This was on your first lap where you picked up the tens, OK? Well done, John, for getting these. Maximum, eh? Congratulations. And then Jules got these. Yeah. Total score, 290. Oh, yeah. yeah! Very high scoring. Very high scoring indeed. OK, Rich and Erica, this is what you managed on your first lap. Not bad, not bad. Almost tripled your score there. <laughs> and then... One, three, two for the yellows. You're going into the funhouse! <laughs> but the Yorkshire lads and lassies don't go away empty-handed, so we'll make sure you get one of these each. That's pretty good, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Put that in your pouch. There you go. Fits in there. We'll get you one in a box each, and we'll also give you this jacket. Have a look at this. Isn't that nice? We'll give you that jacket, all right? Which means Martina's going to be very cold. But anyway, thanks for playing. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah! Now, don't you run away. Where are you going? Off for tea? You're going into the funhouse. You want to know what's in there? <laughs> you sure? You sure? Yeah. How about, yeah, Pat? Yeah, Pat. Good. That's got him well trained. We can tell you because Gary knows all the details and you guys can come and join us. Figure the flying fox and leave a message on this answer phone. Rally round the fireman's pole and rave through a mini system. You too can open a bank account if you can beat the buzzer bay. Pack up a Polaroid if you take the tumbling tube. A magnificent mystery tour is yours if you can negotiate the net ladder. Footy in the fishbowl, find a football and bag. Slip into the bobsleigh for a pair of ace trainers. Hop into the motor mouth to reach the record tokens. Bask in the balloon tunnel and fish out this snorkel mask and fins. Push for the personal CD player parked in the slip and slide. Be a hit with this tennis racket in the test of strength. A stamp kit sticks out in the monster maze. Dally in the danger net and win a walkie-talkie. 180! Both darts and board collide in the skelter belter and wax lyrical in the wild slide and take these music lessons. So what do you reckon then, Jono? Not bad. Not bad. No, you sure not too bad? Oh, brilliant. Oh, woken up. I thought the puddle light in his head had gone out. Oh, well, there's some good prizes in there that all look like this. You're going to be fab, aren't you? Yeah, 50% yeah, fab. Listen. 50% Jono. Right, this is the prize tag that's an example for you to have a look at. Now, one of them contains the secret power prize. Here's the details from Gary. Enjoy the Gambian wildlife when you venture into our West African adventure. Wow, what a prize. African adventure, eh? That'd be good, wouldn't it? That would make him smile, I'm sure. Now, we need to know exactly where it is. So, camera, zoom, now. You didn't see that, did you? No, it's because we don't show you guys, you see. The only way you find out if you've got a chance to answer the power prize question is when you grab a tag inside the funhouse that goes... <laughs> that little cockerel with the old pee on his chest comes on. I think it's pee for Pat or power prize. Comes on and says, yo, yo, yo. And then you get a chance, don't you? Because uh, Martina brings on the question. So, 15 prize tags in there, as I say. It's a high five from you or vice versa after three and so on and so forth. You know the rules. Who's going first? Yeah. Good. Wish you luck. I'm sure you'll be smiling at this, Jono. This is the funniest house in the country. Two minutes. On your marks. Get set. Go!
star. Brilliant. You got a bit lost, didn't you? Yeah. On one of your runs. You got all lost, but you still got a load of tokens here. Let's see what you've got now, okay? Come and stand next to me, mate, and we'll add them up. Remember, this is one each as well. If you're watching at home and you've got a brother or a sister and you're thinking, oh, only one, it's two, all right? Tennis racket each. <laughs> you wanted this, didn't you? Yep. Dance and board each. <laughs> the mini system each. <laughs> the answer phone each. <laughs> the Polaroid camera each. <laughs> Photos ready in a dash. Trainers each. A personal CD player each. Yeah. A mystery tour each. Yeah. And some record tokens each. Yeah. And what you don't know, because you ran in there so quick, and we're having so much fun, and we're making so much noise, one of the first things you grabbed in the old bobsleigh bit was the power prize token. Yes! Yeah. Bring it on, Martina! <laughs> this is it. It's head-to-head -head confrontation. Turn your heads this way a little bit so we can see you, and I'll squeeze in the middle, okay? Now, just behind here is the question which could give you this legendary power prize. You have 10 seconds to think about your answer and confer with each other. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, right? So please, don't blurt out an answer till you know it. It's a three-parter, as always. Good luck. <laughs> Name three languages spoken in Europe. 10 seconds. Come on. English. Yeah. Quick. French. Quick. Um, German. Sorry, you are just out of time. You said German. You said it one second afterwards. I told you about the 10 seconds. I'm so sorry. It must be 10 seconds, otherwise it's just not fair because we give the rules at the start. English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Greek, Dutch, Flemish, Norwegian, Danish, Swedish, Gaelic, Welsh, <laughs> Turkish, Icelandic, Portuguese, <gasps> and rubbish. Uh, just like one. me. I'm sorry. You still got all this lot, though, and you had a good time, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Well played, Carrick Fergus. Have a nice week. See you soon. is here and he's raring to play bullseye. Who's up for winning a caravan?